So your boy just got back from a six hour day of college. It was just exhilarating, let me tell you, which is why we're shooting in this more informal way here. And I came home to this box right here. And if you remember the poll that I did, I asked you guys if I should purchase a 12.9 inch 2018 iPad Pro. And I know it's an older device. It's over a year old now, but I have several reasons for buying it, which I might get into in this video here. But this video is mostly about me buying an Apple refurbished product, specifically an iPad Pro, because I've never done that before. So I wanted to document and just share my experiences going through a refurbished unboxing. Used products are going for a similar price. Apple offered this for $849. And I just didn't feel like buying a used product and having to wait for shipping. I literally purchased this product, selected one day shipping. It got here the next day within less than 24 hours. And here I am about to unbox this product. So let's get into things here. Oh, but before we continue, like I always say, I really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes that and will help push my content to more people. So here we have the box and my iPad Pro 11 for moral support. <laughs> so let's get into the unboxing here. Hopefully I have no personal information on here. If I do, you'll see a nice big black box. Okay, here is the box. And we'll put that to the side. And right off the bat, you can tell the packaging is different because this is just plain white and it says, Apple certified refurbished. Let me make sure things are in focus here. Okay, so now that this is hopefully in focus, let's actually peel off the plastic here. Oh, well, okay. So I would say the unboxing experience is probably gonna be eh, like 80% of the original, you know what I mean? Like, of course they can't make it as nice because you know, you're not buying a brand new product. So let's Let's see if I can get this box off here. It's definitely a little bit more flimsy. Um, the other Apple boxes that I've interacted with have been a lot more sturdy and robust. Um, but this one, it does the job though, I'll say that. And of course, you get the classic, you know, like pull off here. And here we have, and look, I'm just covering up my iPad Pro 11 here. We got a Space Gray 12.9 inch iPad Pro. This is kind of originally the one that I wanted, so I'm happy that I have it now. And I am going to make use of this in college, let me tell you. I'm now taking notes in Calc and Econ and other classes. And I don't know, I'm finding the 11 inch to be a bit cramped, but we'll find out. I will share all that with you. Let's put this plastic back in the box here. I like saving the plastic for whatever reason, especially if I'm gonna resell. And this thing is just freaking massive put this over here. Let's look at what we get here. Um, paperwork, iPad Pro, Apple stickers. You still get Apple stickers with a refurbished product. And um, you get a power brick and a lightning cable. Um, yeah, this is like brand new. <laughs> this is like exactly like brand new. It has a one year warranty too, which is the best part. And yeah, I mean, if you're looking at an iPad Pro right now, or really any Apple product, the unboxing experience was stellar. I mean, for what it is, for the money that you're saving. Of course, it isn't the, you know, most beautiful unboxing experience ever because, you know, Apple really does put a lot of money and marketing into that, you know, if you buy a new product. But yeah, this was very, very pleasant. It didn't feel like I was buying anything cheap. And once again, this is basically brand new. I believe they actually take old components and put them into a newer or a brand new chassis, which makes sense. And since the chipsets and everything inside aren't touched by the public really, and since they don't like fail, it's, it's essentially like buying a new product. I mean, okay, so we are charged. So we got the 12.9 inch right here and the 11 inch right by its side. I'm probably just gonna do an iCloud backup or restore from backups. Waiting on the other iPad, hold the new iPad up to your camera. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of like setting up an Apple Watch. I've never done this before. So I have successfully restored this 12.9 inch iPad Pro from my 11 inch iPad Pro's backup. I also have my pencil connected. And yeah, overall, um, I've had a great experience unboxing and using a refurbished iPad Pro. It seems brand new, like I said, no scratches, no dents. You don't have to worry about anything. The seller of a used product isn't telling you it's directly from Apple and you get a warranty, which is the best part. So I'm very excited to start using this. I think I am going to benefit from this larger screen in my own daily life during you know college classes and such, but I will get back to you on that, talking about the sizes here. And I think videos like that, particularly about the sizes of these displays will benefit people even after these become the previous gen when we see the new ones 
uh, the new iPad Pros being launched in March because at the end of the day, the display sizes are gonna remain the same for the time being. So would I recommend doing this as of right now? Um, of course, there are more economical options, cheaper options too if you buy locally or off of eBay or if you catch the right deal at the right time, but this is definitely a option, a good one at that, especially because you are buying directly from Apple, but I will probably have a more in-depth video on this topic later. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video was helpful. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video. Comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions once again, and subscribe for more content like this. I will have a whole video going over the whole refurbished experience, you know, if it's worth it or not, whatever. And of course, I will be covering the differences between the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch iPad in like college settings and just other settings too, like creative work, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep. And other than that, I'm Noah and I will catch you all in the next one.